For this simple craft, you will be using a paper template, a ruler, a pencil, and infeasible markers. These markers utilize a special type of ink that transfers onto different materials and surfaces when properly heated. To begin, use a ruler and pencil to measure in half an inch from the edge of the paper template. These lines will serve as guides so that you do not mark past them as you draw your design. Otherwise, your design may not show up on the mug. Before you begin to use the markers, make sure you are working on a cutting mat or using a scrap piece of paper under the paper template as the inks will bleed through to the back of the paper. Now you are ready to create your own design using the markers. You can use your own creative instinct to help you direct the design of your drawing. You can also look online for inspiration on what to draw. For my design, I simply looked up 80s design prints on Google and chose one simple enough for me to recreate. It is recommended that you avoid the use of words or letters in your design unless they are written in reverse. This is due to the fact that your design is actually mirrored in reverse onto your mug. This is shown in the example below in the word hello. As you are drawing your design, if you are coloring large areas, make sure you do not rip through the paper as the ink will absorb into it and make the paper a bit wet. Once you are done with your design, plug in and power on the Cricut Mug Press. Making sure that the press is plugged in, press the power button located at the top of the machine. It will turn orange while it heats up. Also, make sure you have the Cricut mat nearby as you will be using it to hold your mug while it cools off. While the mug press heats up, place your completed design onto a blank sublimated mug. These special mugs have a porous surface that will allow the infusible ink to permanently absorb onto it while being heated. Center your template as best as you can onto the mug and secure it into place using the special heat resistant tape. Make sure your paper is flat against the surface of the mug and tape all along the top and bottom of the paper template as well as placing a small piece of tape underneath the mug handle. When the power button on the press has turned green and the first white button is lit, the press is ready to be used. Before placing your mug inside, grab a piece of parchment paper that has been provided and wrap around your mug. Make sure the bottom of the parchment paper is even with the bottom of the mug and carefully place into the mug press. Center the handle of the mug and then firmly press down on the top handle as shown. You may want to hold onto the handle of the mug while you press the handle down so that the mug does not shift and possibly ruin your design. When the machine beeps and all the white lights are solid, your mug is ready to be removed from the press and placed on the mat. Make sure to power off and then unplug the press machine after you have removed your mug. Please be very careful when removing your mug as it will be extremely, extremely hot and will need to be left alone for at least 15 minutes to completely cool down. It is highly recommended you do not touch the mug for at least five to eight minutes before attempting to touch it and remove the tape and paper. This mug has already been sitting for 13 minutes and is still very warm to the touch, but cool enough for short periods of contact to quickly remove the tape and paper to reveal your final design. Now you can enjoy using your own custom designed mug. We hope you have enjoyed following along with this craft and thank you for stopping by our makerspace room and thank you for watching.